one of the new features in LabVIEW is a robot simulator. As you can see, there's a simulated field, and you can drive around. Um, there's elements to interact with, a simulated ball and a bridge. Now, I've never been able to balance on the simulated bridge. I guess that's why I'm not a robot driver. You know, you can drive around. This is all running in LabVIEW, running on LabVIEW robot code and the LabVIEW simulator. There's also a simulated camera that shows the view from the robot. There are also different camera views available. Here we're from looking at it from the side in a fixed camera viewpoint. You can change it so that you're farther away and have the camera follow the robot. There's also a, a near view on with the robot camera right next to the robot. As you can see, I still can't balance the bridge, but I can get pretty close. There's also views from the driver's station. This is zoomed in, so you have a, a fixed view just like your driver. You can also go and look at your driver's normal view. This can be very useful for practicing with driver training. And then similar view from a little bit higher up following the robot. There's also the ability to speed up and slow down 5x speed, 20x speed, or going a whole lot slower. These can be useful on, for example, you can test an autonomous mode in one-tenth the time. Also new this year is a test mode. When you enable test mode, there's a, a new tab in the dashboard called test, which shows all your data from your robot, all the sensors in it, the and outputs. On. These are all things that you can edit. If you move a joystick, you can see the joysticks moving around. You can also set motors individually. If we show the robot and click on the right drive motor, we can set it to negative half speed and click the button, which will enable the motors. Well, there's still some bugs. But if we do it again, you can see the robot start to turn on just as if you were moving the motor at half speed. And the other thing that's nice is all your sensors update to the simulated sensors. So you can see on when you're moving at half speed the encoders or the right encoders moving and the gyros moving.